Most times when God says he's about to do something for you, you need to know the part you have to play for it to be fulfilled. What if all the part you have to play is just to walk into it? It's called what? The prepared blessings. It's a realm. Activating rest. The power of instructions. How you activate rest. Number one principle. The power of instructions. Giving heed to instructions. What are instructions? Instructions are a dimension of God's word to us. Instructions are a dimension of God's word to us. That reveals our part in his plan. What is our part? Obedience. It is instructions that will reveal your obedience in the execution of God's divine plan for your life. Number two, what are instructions? They are powerful destiny activators. Malakrande keledias. Powerful destiny activators. When he did. Number three, instructions are verbal capsules verbal capsules that contain supernatural wisdom. The wisdom is activated when you obey those instructions. Number four, instructions are divine commands that guarantee divine backing. Divine commands that guarantee divine backing. It is important that you know that instructions are not suggestions. No, they are clear cut directions from God to you. It doesn't suggest it to you. It's a command. In Psalms 32 verse 8, he says, I will instruct you in the way you should go. You should, necessary. Not you may. You should go. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3, you therefore must, someone say must, endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. It was an instruction he was giving to him that for you to grow in your faith and to be thoroughly built up as a leader in God's house in these last days it says you must endure hardship as a soldier must so when seasons of trial comes don't try to pray them away always no sometimes you need to endure it it's like a test that you must go through and be clarified by God and principalities and powers that you are ready for the next level Bishop Oedipo said instruction lovers are high flyers and the reason is because when you go to an aviation school, they don't call their teachers lecturers. They call them instructors. <laughs> because if you don't do anything they tell you to do, and the plane, you are with the plane on the air, what will happen? It crash. And when it crashes, it's dead. So you can't bargain what they tell you. Even if they say, hit your head on the plane three times before you fly it. It's an instruction. God leads us by instructions. So sometimes this prayer for confirmation is just a way of, sometimes a way, sometimes not all the time, but it's a way of us bargaining God. God say, give me a seed of a million naira. Or God say, give me your January salary. Then you now go into three days of fasting and prayer to confirm. You are, oh God, you are just trying to bargain. It's an instruction, do it and rise. In fact, if you see God giving you more instructions, it's because your obedience is much. Divine direction is a product of instructions received. Divine direction is a product of instructions received and not assumed. Not assumed. This year you must receive clear cut directions from God. God must instruct you. Now how do I receive divine instruction? Quickly. Number one, by the word. Number one, by the word. Number two, by the spirit. Number two, by the spirit of God. Number three, through spirit-filled believers. When you receive instructions from spirit-filled believers, it is called counsel. Trust God to surround yourself with those people this year. Number four, we receive instructions through his servants. Through his servants. Attitudes to receiving instruction. The attitude you must have to receive instructions. The reason why we are talking about this is because this year, most of the things that God will do in your life that will put you at a cutting edge will be by clear-cut divine instructions. Don't move until God speaks. It's good to have ideas. It's good to listen to people. But make sure everything comes as a confirmation to what God has spoken. God can tell you to sow in dry season. Obey it 
and you will be like Isaac who reaped a hundredfold. God can tell you not to sow in rainy season and you go and sow because there is rain. The attitude that I must have, I've shown you how to receive it by the word, by the spirit, by spirit filled believers, by his servants. Now the attitude you must have, number one, prayer and fellowshipping with the spirit. As you spend time with God in prayer and in fellowship, get ready to be sensitive because the Holy Spirit will begin to instruct you. Let your ears be open. Let prayer not be a religious exercise. Prayer is business this year for you. When you go, don't rush. Sit there. Even if it's 15 minutes, make it count. Listen. If God is not speaking, tell him, God, what will you have me do? He will say something. Number two, meditation. Many of us will need to develop the habit of meditation this year. Meditation. How do I meditate? Engaging your mind with the word of God. Simple as that. Number three, humility. God will never instruct proud people. Most people receive instructions in church these days, but they don't do it because they are proud. And you see, one of the fuel for our pride in church these days is knowledge. Knowledge that should have built you, has made you puffed up. When you sit under an anointing or you sit under a teaching, regardless of who is teaching, be attentive for God to speak through that person to you. There is a word for everybody, but in that word, there is a word for you. Sometimes God will instruct you through your wife in a dream. Don't, I know you are a Margi man. I know you, Margi men are so proud. Boy, you are a Margi man in Christ. They will know they do waiting women talk. Mm. And you didn't do what she told you last year and you lost so much. I are still struggling. Some of you through your parents. They didn't go to school like you. But next time you go to see, see them, sit down, let them talk. You see, they talk too much. Ah, They will just call you and waste your time. No problem. In all that talk, there may be one instruction God will give you that will save you a lot. Was it not through a donkey that God instructed a prophet and cured his madness? That's how the Bible puts it. Was it Jude or Peter that was writing about it? That the madness of the prophet was restrained. A donkey. That donkey may be your cleaner in your office. Though. That donkey may be that woman that sells kose in front of your street. You have to just be humble to receive it when it comes. Especially when it is coming to rebuke you. You must receive it. And then number four, willingness to obey. If God finds a man that is willing to be obedient, at all times, that man has opened his spiritual space to receiving divine instructions. How many of you are making a resolution this year that all that God tells me to do, I will do? You want God to bless you? You want to climb the ladders of kingdom wealth? You want to experience growth in your career? You want to grow in the things of the Spirit? Get ready for instructions. Be available to them. I've taught you how to receive it and the attitude with which to receive it. That's how you activate rest. My soul says yes. Says yes. Says yes. My soul says yes. Says yes to your My soul says yes, says yes. I don't know about you. Says yes. My soul says yes, says yes to your will. Would you help me say?